Jonathan Schrager here for Stretti News TV. I'm joined by former Manchester United centre back Paul McGrath. Needs no introduction, really. 82 to 89. First of all, Paul, how are we doing? Um, yeah, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Um, I wish uh, Manchester United were playing slightly better football, but I, but I love uh, the fact that they're 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 you know fourth, I think, in the league at the moment. Yeah, and they're they're they're, they're not playing as brilliantly as I'd want them to play, expansively as I want them to play, but they are, but, but they're, they're fought in the league. And so Van Gaal, for me, is a, is a good guy. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to touch upon the kind of current United at the moment, but just to kind of discuss a little bit about your time, obviously, at the club. We're sat now with a, an island flag above us that says, who are Paul McGraw, obviously a chant that the, that the Old Trafford faithful used to sing as well. Are you aware of the kind of um, reverence United fans have towards you? Well, well, I'll be honest with you. I, I've always had a, a, um, a, a great respect for Manchester United simply because I, I look back on the history of Manchester United. So I, I, I knew the Paddy Crairns and the George Beths and the yeah. Bobby Charles and the Nobby Styles. So I, 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 I would always have a, um, a, a, um, a deep respect for all those players. Yeah. So some, some of the kids might not know those names because they, they will have seen the gigs, the butts, the, the, the David Beckham and stuff like that. But I look back further and I look at, back into the history. Yeah. Manchester United has a real history and I think that's why so many fans uh, follow them throughout the world. Absolutely and my old man who, who's, I think he's about, he's about 76 now, so he first went to Old Trafford I believe in the late 40s, so he's seen a lot of United centre-backs. When I asked him today, and I've discussed you with him before, he rated you as he said you're easily in the top five all-time United centre-backs, and I think when I, 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 I like him, I yeah. like I like your grandfather. I like him. Well, no, that's my old man and my grandfather. Your old man, sorry. Yeah. I, I, I'm, well, I'm liking him as well. <laughs> well, also, I, a friend of mine, Scott McGarvey, who I know obviously played alongside at Old Trafford. He says whenever I ask him who the best player he played with, he says, "Well, let's just discount Robbo for a second. He says Paul McGrath by a country mile. You you cannot. No, you can't say that about Robbo. You can't say that. Robbo was the best player I, I ever played with. Yeah. Ever played with. Scotty was 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 a player that I played with. Who, who, who he came into the game young and stuff like that. And he could score a goal. And we played in the reserves together. And he was he was a bit special as well. Yeah. You know, he knew where the goal was, and he, he cracked in a few goals and stuff like that. But I, I like I say, we 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 kind of grew up together yeah. Norman Norman would have been on, on our crew as well yeah and um, I, I, I loved what we were doing we, we were we were trying to promote the, the Manchester United uh, ethos yeah. of, of, of how to play the game and stuff like that and we actually played quite well Norman was the enforcer yeah I was kind of like I didn't mind smacking a few people if, if, <laughs> if they needed doing it and Scotty used to score goals, so yeah, um, yeah, yeah, we were we were friends, yeah. and we always protected each other. That that was a lovely thing that I loved about our, um, excuse me, our relationship. Yeah. We always protected each other. If if if, 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 if uh, Norman needed protection, I would move into uh, midfield and, and slap. I don't mean slap a few people. Excuse me, I tackle a few people. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and Norman would always look after the people up front. And, yeah. and Norman could score a goal as well, but Scott McGarvey knew how to score a goal. And I wanted to ask, I mean, if I sort of re we're a bit pressed for time, because obviously we did, you're here tonight doing a presentation or a, an after-dinner talk sort yeah. of the evening, and I know you've done a few of them in the Midlands area. Um, I wanted to ask you, if there's one United centre-back, past or present, that you could play alongside, because obviously a, a lot of old-school United fans I talk to rate you as one of the best, who would you play alongside? Uh, the, the only man that could play with an overcoat on, Martin Buchan. Right. He, he could, Martin Buchan used to tell, uh, he, he was the most special human being he could, apart from anything else, he was, he, he was the nicest human being you could meet. Yeah. And he would, he, he would actually uh, say to me, like, just, just relax, enjoy it, you know, uh, you know, just play as you want to, you know, play the game. This this is a simple game. It's a fun game, and I swear to Christ, Martin Buck, and he could play with his slippers on. He could play with an overcoat on, and I swear to Christ, he was one of the best. Um, he was best. He was he was a teacher, 
and he he he, used, he taught me a hell of a lot, and, and 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 he was the one that I would say was the best I've ever played with. And and just on on current United centre backs during the summer there was a perceived issue amongst media and fans. They said we need to address it. We need to buy an established centre back. Chris Smalling's come to the fore, and he's now looking mm. absolutely imperious. What's your opinion on on the current United centre backs? See Chris Smalling's. Yeah, well, I think Chris Chris, Chris is now um, established himself as, as as the number one. You know what I mean? So yeah. he. he but 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 you, you can do that for like three and four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks. Yeah. But um, but you've got to keep it going. The one thing you can't uh, you can take the foot off the gas once once or twice, or if he trips up in the in the box and stuff like that. He, Chris, Chris Chris is a good a really good player, and and, and to be honest, I admire him. Um, but um, you know, Jones is another one that that that, that I think is going to be uh, a hell of a, fo a footballer, and he's only come back. He's come back from injury. Yeah. But um, Rojo as well. You know, I think I think United are are, are actually going to do really really well. But but I just think we we just need a steady back four um, that that are that are going to. Um, I, I I'm impressed the way they're going. I'm they they they're, they're going in the right direction. Yeah. And everyone hates that because they're going. They they seem to be going at a slow speed. Yeah. But I swear. But um, me, Van Gaal. I, I'm not a Van Gaal re, huge Van Gaal fan, but I do believe he's going in the right direction. And one last question on centre backs: If you had to pick one to play alongside Chris Smalling, obviously oh. Rocco Jones, but also oh. Daley Blind complements him. Daley Blind. Would you play yeah, Blind? Yeah, because because yeah. because because that that kid is cool. Yeah. He, you know, you need someone who can. Just take the ball down and just go. No, I'm not going to lash it forward, yeah. or, or play it square. I'm not going to do this. And Daley Blind is 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 a, is a, is, is a beautiful footballer, yeah. and and I I would love to have played with someone like that. Who would say to you, he pass across you, yeah. and say you deal with it now, and and if you need to give it back to me. Give it back to me. Daley Blind is one of those, and I swear to Christ, he he's going to be a, a huge United player. And, and that and that and that to me is and I think I played against his father a couple of times, uh, back in the days, <laughs> back in the days. But he's he, he Daily Blind is is, is 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 a cracking footballer. Paul, absolute pleasure chatting with you. And listen, thank you very much. Thank you. It's a pleasure chatting with you as well. Thank you.